Hey everyone, it's Sarah and today I am back with another discovery set to share with you. So I know I mentioned that um, I have recently picked up a ton of discovery kits and this is just one of the many that I picked up. So today we are going to be talking about Nikolai Parfumer. And from what I understand, the nose behind Nikolai Parfumer is an actual Guerlain, uh, somebody from the Guerlain family, uh, which I just found to be very interesting. So this just comes like this and then you open it, it is magnetized, you open it and there are all of your fragrances. It does come with a little card that has all the notes and things in it. And it does come with 12 different fragrances. So you are getting a lot. Um, and this is quite an inexpensive kit. I think this one is $45, uh, which I thought, which for being a discovery set on Lucky Scent, uh, to me was quite inexpensive. So let's go ahead and jump into these fragrances. I was a little sad. There were a couple um, that I really wanted to try that are not in here. The Violet in Love, which I think I'm just going to buy a full bottle of. It's really inexpensive. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm going to love it. So, But I was sad to not see that one in here. Um, but yeah, there are some really beautiful ones in here. So let's go ahead and start with the first one, which is called in Incense Oud. I will include pictures of all of these on the screen. So Incense Oud is Artemisia Oud and Incense. Um, these are really nice little sprayers too. Um, they're, I know sometimes when you get little uh, testers like this, this, the sprayers can be kind of hard to deal with. This one is like beautiful. It's like easy to spray. You get a beautiful, um, you know, you get a beautiful projection with it. Okay, this is not my favorite. This is, it's, it is like a beautiful Middle Eastern oud fragrance. If you're into that, I think you would really like it. It's very good quality. It's strong, it's oud, it's incense, and not much else. Um, so if you're looking for something like this, this is a good one, and these are quite affordable. For being niche fragrances, these are really, really affordable. The one ounce bottles, are usually, they're anywhere from like 45 to $65 for like a one ounce bottle. They're really inexpensive. Yeah, this is not my favorite. Um, it's not anything that I would wear. Very masculine, it's very, very much an oud fragrance, so. Okay, next we've got Cashmere Intense. This is one, sorry, uh, Ombre Cashmere Intense. This is one that I was dying to smell and I was not disappointed. This is a gorgeous, ugh, beautiful amber fragrance. Okay, so. Uh, ombre cashmere intense is black pepper black <laughs> so ombre cashmere intense is black pepper iris and vanilla uh it's beautiful uh, just a really beautiful amber fragrance this one is quite simple um you get the black pepper but it's not like overpowering at all um i usually don't love pepper in fragrance but it's beautiful in this one and the iris in this is really, really gorgeous too. It's uh, not like an overly powdery iris. It's not makeup-y smelling. There's a slight sweetness in this. Yeah, from the vanilla. It's beautiful. The iris and the vanilla together are stunning. And then the black pepper just keeps it the black pepper keeps the iris from being too powdery and the vanilla from being too sweet. Really, really gorgeous. I love that one. That's definitely like a full bottle worthy one. So that is uh, Ombre Cashmere Intense. Next is another one I did not care for. This is called uh, Baikal Leather. And, you know, I'm just not a fan of leather fragrances. So I knew I wasn't going to love this. But for being a leather fragrance, it's really quite beautiful. This has got yuzu in the top. So it's like this beautiful, 
kind of citrusy, fresh leather fragrance. And the leather note in here is like impeccable. It smells like, I mean, it smells like a brand new leather jacket or something. It's, it's impeccable, really. It really is a beautiful fragrance. Like if I were into leather, I would like this. So this is a Yuzu Leather Birch and Guyac Wood. It's beautiful. I mean, it's a really, really well done leather fragrance. Very unisex. This could be worn by a man or a woman. I mean, of course, anything can, but it's, to me, it's just really, really nicely unisex. So yeah, beautiful leather fragrance. Like I say, if I were into leather fragrances, I would be into that. Okay, the next one is called Queer, uh, Queer Cuba. And this is Anise, Sage, and Tobacco. Ooh, this is beautiful. Like, I smelled these a long time ago. My mom and I sat here and went through this whole discovery kit just sniffing. But it's like some of them I remember liking and some I remember I didn't like. And then some I couldn't remember at all. And this one I couldn't remember at all. This is beautiful, you guys. This is the really... This is a gorgeous combination of anise and uh, sorry of anise and tobacco. I mean, and that's really all I smell: anise and tobacco. It's beautiful. It smells like a sweet pipe tobacco. It's gorgeous. This one to me leans a little bit more masculine, though. Again, it could be anybody could pull this off. It's definitely not anything I would want to smell like, but it's gorgeous. So just beautiful. Anise and sweet pipe tobacco. Really, really unique. Really well done. Beautiful quality. I mean, it's a stunner. That could, you could slut, you could put this in like an Hermes bottle and it would smell like, you know, something from something from that line the one that i got that was like uh gosh i can't remember the names of them now but the one that was like hay anise and something else it i mean this could totally be one of those fragrances it's very fresh very light very unique beautiful this one um yeah this one i wouldn't want to wear but it's like addicting to smell it's beautiful. So that is a uh, queer or queer Cuba intense. Okay, the next one is and one of the ones that I was really interested in. This is called Musk Intense. And this is beautiful. You'll uh, so the notes on this one are pear, rose, and musk. Which reminded me of something from Zara, um, because a lot of times Zara just does three notes and they're like that, pear and rose and musk, so I thought it was going to smell like something from there. But this is really, really beautiful. It's, of course, amazing quality. It doesn't smell anything like anything from Zara. Um, beautiful quality, beautiful, strong musk. It's a very strong musk. And it's not like a white musk either. It's just like a beautiful, strong, clean musk. A little bit of pear. It's a beautiful, like crisp, crisp, almost unripe pear note. It's not a juicy pear. It's more of like a crisp, clean pear. And then the rose is... It's like a traditional smelling rose, but it doesn't smell mature in any way because the musk and the pear are so clean smelling. Like the rose has no choice but to smell clean too, really. It's beautiful. Would I want a whole bottle of this? Probably not. Um, it's stunning. It's like a soapy musk. So if you're looking for something like that, it's gorgeous. It's These are really inexpensive, and for the quality, you cannot go wrong. 
but probably nothing that I need in my collection, but it's beautiful. So uh, again, that one is called Musk Intense. Okay, the next one we have is called Number One Intense, and this is, okay. Sweet Acacia, Tuberose, and Sandalwood. So this is a very woody Tuberose fragrance. Um, it is, and that's really all it is. It's just a really woody Tuberose. Um, the Tuberose smells clean rather than super sweet. It's lending a tiny bit of sweetness, but not much because the woods are really the dominant notes here. The tuberose is beautiful though. It's just a beautiful clean, again, almost, it's almost got a soapy quality to it. Really beautiful. Would I want a full bottle of this? Probably not. Um, it's a really unique take on tuberose. It's more of, like I say, a clean, soapy kind of tuberose than anything. Very woody, not my cup of tea. Okay, next we have New York Intense. And this one I don't think I liked, only because I think this one leans quite masculine. Um, actually, no, this is beautiful. Mm, okay, New York Intense is Pettigrain Citronier, Black Pepper, and Oak Moss. It's beautiful. It smells kind of like a barbershop type cologne, but uh, the Oak Moss in this is beautiful. I love Oak Moss. There's something about it that is just so beautiful to me. So this is like a beautiful citrusy Oak Moss fragrance. Again, the black pepper is like not overpowering. I think that's one thing about this house, um, Nikolai, they do black pepper so, so well in fragrance. It never smells overpowering. It never smells too peppery. It's not, um, it's just beautiful. This is beautiful. Again, this one leans a little too masculine for my tastes, but it is stunning. I would love to smell this on a man. Um, it would just be beautiful and fresh. Mm, I love this. Beautiful, beautiful. So that is New York Intense. Okay, next we have got Patchouli Intense and... This is a beautiful patchouli fragrance. So this is lavender, uh, pelargonium, and patchouli. And this is more of like a fresh, it's more of like a fresh patchouli fragrance. It's not medicinal or a, sorry, it's not the, it's not like a dirty patchouli. It's not a hippie patchouli. This is a very clean patchouli fragrance. Lavender and patchouli, very clean. Uh, slightly, slightly medicinal smelling, but not overly medicinal smelling either. It's just, uh, again, on the masculine side for me, but really beautiful nonetheless. This is a really inoffensive fragrance. It's... Um, Yeah, it's just a beautiful patchouli, but it's it's like all the best qualities about patchouli. If you're not into like a dirty hippie patchouli, if you're not into a earthy smelling patchouli or like a medicinal smelling patchouli, this is just, um, yeah, it's just a fresh, it's a, it's, I've never really smelled such a fresh patchouli ever. It's just a really fresh patchouli fragrance. So yeah, nice. Would I want a full bottle of it? No, but it's beautiful. Okay, next we have got Cap Neroli. This was another one that I was really, 
really interested in. I'm glad I sampled it first because I ended up not loving this one. It's beautiful. There's nothing wrong with it at all, but it's just a neroli fragrance. Um, I feel like don't come for me because I know people are going to get mad when I say this, but I feel like if you smelled one neroli fragrance, you've smelled them all. Um, there's, it's hard. It's really hard to make a really unique smelling neroli fragrance. This is beautiful though. This almost, so this is Pettigrain, uh, sorry, Pettigrain Biggerad Neroli and Oak Moss. Now, this almost has like a minty vibe to it. It's really, really beautiful. This smells icy cold. So if you wanted a really beautiful, cooling smelling fragrance for the heat, for like high heat, I don't think you could go wrong with this. It's gorgeous as far as like being probably the coldest smelling neroli I've ever smelled. Again, it's expertly blended. It's just seamless. The oak moss is beautiful. That Pettigrain Biggerod note is stunning and so is the neroli. The neroli is not overpowering anything either. I don't know why I thought I didn't like this as well. Like now that I'm smelling it for the second time, I'm like really, really digging this. Maybe because it's starting to get closer to spring, it's starting to warm up, and I can imagine wearing this in high heat and just how refreshing and cooling this would be. Ooh, I'm gonna keep my eye on that one. I'm gonna give that one a good wear test. I'll do, I'm gonna do an update video and I'm gonna update you guys on all of the ones that I um, loved and I'm gonna full, do a full wear test on all of them and then I'm just gonna update you on a whole bunch of different things. So I'll update you on that one. Next, we've got Fig Tea. This is another one that I was really, really interested in. Um, yeah, I've been really interested in this one for a while. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is a straight up Osmanthus fragrance. That is the first thing that I smell. This, oh my goodness, it smells exactly like fresh Osmanthus. Ugh, like you're sticking your nose in a cluster of Osmanthus buds. So, so stunning. I think this was my favorite fragrance in this entire discovery kit. This is absolutely full bottle worthy. I need to do a good full wear test on this. This is another one I've been waiting for warmer weather to do a good full wear test on it because it's just too cold for a fragrance like this yet. Because this is quite cooling again. Um, it's light, it's fresh, it's airy, it's delicate. It needs some heat. Um, this isn't going to do well in really cold weather. Oh my gosh, do I love this though. So this is Osmanthus, Jasmine, and Mate. It is beautiful. My favorite, hands down, of everything in this discovery set was this. So that is Fig Tea. Again, I will do a full wear test and I will update you guys on that one. Okay, this next one is funny because my mom and I thought we had been punked. We sprayed it on the paper and literally neither of us could smell a single thing and I had read reviews of this one yeah it's like you spray it on the paper and then smell literally nothing and I had read reviews on this one of people being really unhappy with it because it was they couldn't smell anything and so I knew because I had kind of had that happen with the Fortin Manley harem rose. I knew I needed to go ahead and spray it on my skin to see what happened then and it bloomed on my skin. It's a beautiful rose fragrance. Do I think I need it? No, because I do have Zara fragrances that smell like this. Um, this is not groundbreaking. This is not even that expensive smelling. It's very run, you know, run of the mill. It's beautiful, don't get me wrong, but like I say, I've got Zara fragrances that smell like this. So this is uh, Ambrette Seeds, Rose, and Sandalwood. It is beautiful. I can tell you that you really do need to test this one on the skin first because 
Uh, it, it's very hard to detect on paper, but on the skin, it smells beautiful. But again, you could get a $10 perfume at Zara, like Wonder Rose or something from Zara that's going to be just as beautiful. So, Okay, and then last but not least, we have Low Mixed. Uh, this is the one fragrance that I own a full bottle of. I adore this fragrance. This is like a... This is a barbershop style type citrus fragrance. I love this. It's so stunning in the heat. Oh, it's beautiful. So low mixed is, yeah, this is beautiful. Mint, uh, juniper, and vetiver. I am obsessed with this fragrance. I love it in the heat. As it dries down, the vetiver it becomes like the star. That's really what you smell. The mint and the vetiver. There's something citrusy, very, very citrusy smelling about this. There's definitely like grapefruit, I think, in this as well. I smell grapefruit, like grapefruit, mint, and vetiver. Could be the juniper that's doing that though, that's smelling citrusy. It's beautiful though. This is super, super unisex. It's not, it doesn't lean masculine, doesn't lean feminine. It's just really middle of the road. It's a stunning <laughs> hot weather fragrance. I adore this fragrance in the hot weather. And like I say, I already own a full bottle of it. So yeah, um, I can tell you right now, I will definitely be, be picking up a full bottle of fig tea um, as well as the Violet in Love one. I'm gonna pick up a full bottle of that even though I haven't tested it yet. Pretty sure I'm gonna love that one. Um, there are a couple others in here, the Cap Neroli and the uh, Ombre Cashmere. I may be picking up full bottles of those, but I need to give them a good wear test. I will wear test everything in here that I really, really love. And then, like I say, I will do one big update video for you guys, updating you on everything that I've tested out of all these kits, everything that I've loved, and I will let you know about them. So. Anyways, that is the Nikolai Parfumer. Um, this is the bigger of the two discovery sets they have on Lucky Scent. I do hope that you guys enjoyed this. I do hope you found it helpful. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.